What's up, guys? Welcome to another Draw7 TV video. Matt here with you, and hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us here on Draw7 TV. Just to let you know before we get started with this Sylveon GX deck list here on PTCGO, I uh, wanted to let you know we've posted another video this week, and you can go check that one out on the page. It's a tabletop game, a fun Decidueye Vileplume against Volcanian Turtonator GX, and it's a great match, so make sure and get over there and check that out. About 20 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer of a match, uh, but fun uh, nonetheless. Today we're talking about Sylveon GX, a disruption deck, a deck that's being touted as the next big thing. I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I would say it is a blast to play and so, so very good. And so we're going to talk about uh, Sylveon GX today. Now, I, I do want to preface this by saying that... I don't normally play Disruption. I actually loathe Disruption in a lot of ways, and those at League can attest to that. I uh, never was a big fan of Item Lock or anything like that. But I thought, you know what? I'm a Mega Mewtwo player at heart, but I want to try something completely different. And Sylveon GX is the deck that, uh, well, I, I've fallen in love with, and it is completely different from Mega Mewtwo. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about my version of the deck. Play a match or two, depending on how long it goes, because Sylveon does play very slowly. And, uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video as well. And by the way, I've mentioned this before, but if you're new to the page, uh, something to keep in mind. I don't go through and edit my videos in terms of if I get demolished, I get demolished and I keep it on here, um, so on and so forth. I figure that uh, the game, you're not going to win all your matches. You're not going to have great matches all the time. So I don't want to uh, fool people by thinking that this deck just dominates because it does not. But uh, with that said, let's see what happens. All right, Sylveon GX, the real real exciting Pokemon in the party here, and really the only Pokemon in the party in this deck. Magical Ribbon for one Fairy Energy. You can search your deck for up to three cards, put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. This attack, when I first saw it, I wasn't necessarily that excited for. I thought, okay, that's pretty cool, but then I started to realize, oh, Disruption is definitely going to be a thing, and that's going to be huge for a Disruption deck. Fairy win the second attack, one Fairy Energy, two DCE, or I guess I should say one DCE, but two Colorless Energy for 110. With a Choice Band, you can hit for 140. We don't play Choice Band in this particular build, but that is something you can keep in mind. Uh, Plea GX is absolutely a wonderful GX attack, very annoying as well. For the same cost, put two of your opponent's benched Pokemon and all cards attached to them into your opponent's hand. So if you're taking on something like Lapras, Volcanion, maybe make a Mewtwo, if they've got something set up on the bench, ready to attack you on that next turn, you just play GX and you put all that energy, all the Pokemon, everything back into your opponent's hand. Very, very annoying. So as you can see in this deck, it is just a 4-4 four, four line. We play four Eevees with Energy Evolution and then four of the Sylveon GX. And that's it. Uh, I had originally built this deck with a Shaman, uh, but decided that I didn't really need him, or did I use him? So I took him out. I had a Pseudo Wudo in here as well, because one of the worst matchups is against a Mega Ray, because they can one-shot you pretty darn quick. So um, I had that in here, but then I found myself starting with him a lot, and I didn't have a way to get him out of the active. Uh, very annoying. So I took him out of this. All right, we're running three Crushing Hammers, three Enhanced Hammers, and I'm finding that Crushing Hammer is a little bit more valuable than Enhanced Hammer. Not as many people playing, at least at our league, uh, any kind of special energy, at least at this point, um, but still very important. Two Fuel Blowers, uh, my favorite card in the game, Max Potion. I think this card is just absolutely ridiculous, and I'm playing four of those. Uh, four Puzzle of Times, and a buddy of mine and I were talking at League the other day how consistent Puzzle of Time really is. Uh, you would think that you wouldn't be able to get these two cards uh, into your hand and then get two cards out of your discard, but actually it happens way more often. And it helps with Sylveon because you can just pull out the Puzzle of Times if you don't have an extra one in your hand. So that's something to think about as well. 
Town map, I went ahead and threw a town map in here because when I once I do take a, a knockout, it does not, or it is nice rather to be able to pick what card I grab out of my prizes. Three VS Seekers, didn't really need to play four in this deck. Three seems to be just about right, and if so, I can grab Puzzle of Times and then grab one out of my discard if need be. One. Uh, minus 20 damage, and also to uh, limit the bench on Mega Rayquaza. Two Silent Labs, and um, a few more cards to make note of before we get started. Alima, I found that this card can be very disruptive, very annoying to your opponent, especially if they uh, hit tails on their roll. And I find that, uh, yeah, this card can be clutch sometimes, especially case you don't have that access to a, a Team Rocket's Handiwork or a, a Team Skull Grunt, so something to keep in mind there as well. Uh, I do play two Assault Vests in this deck because of the use of Special Energy from my opponent. I know I said that, you know, we don't see a lot of Special Energies, but that isn't necessarily always true. It really just depends on the matchup. So I did throw a Salt Vest in there to uh, potentially give Sylveon 40 extra HP to knock him up there to uh, Decidueye numbers up there at 240. So there's the look. Energies, um, I am running only seven of the uh, Fairy Energies, and I'm running three DCEs. All right, guys, let's go have some fun, play a few matches, and uh, see... If we can have at least a successful matchup or at least a competitive one, that's always the uh, that's always the thing about recording these videos is you really hope for a competitive matchup. All right, looks like I'm taking on a fire deck. Hopefully not Typhlosion. I loathe that deck. <laughs> if you've watched any of the live streams, you you know how much I loathe that deck. And you will find with this Sylveon GX deck that you will mulligan several times, which is fine. Uh, you do hope to get an in, though, um, to uh, force your opponent to put those cards back into their deck. So this is the second mulligan here. Hopefully get an EV here. We do not. Another important thing on that first turn is to get that, that energy there. And we did that. We did get uh, the Olympia, which isn't going to help here. Crushing Hammer, Fuel Blower. So really not a great turn. We don't have any draw support um, unless we top deck one, which would be really nice. But uh, at this point, we don't have one. So really the only useful card at this point is the energy here. And we are taking on Typhlosion. Great. All right. So that is not fun at all. Typhlosion is like... Very annoying, but it does have this Oricorio, so that's an interesting idea as well, and that's all we can do on this turn, so we will pass to our opponent, and, uh, yeah. Victory Peace Who Plays was playing a Typhlosion deck the other night on stream, and, uh, of course, very successful uh, for him, but, um, he was playing 28 Fire Energy, which, is, if you think about it, is just absolutely crazy. Passionate Dance here from Oricorio. And now he has a full bench of Cyndaquils. All right, so we're going to Crushing Hammer here. Hopefully knock that energy off. We do not. And all we can do here, guys, is Magical Ribbon. So I got to make sure and have another one of those ready to go. Um, let's see. In this matchup, I think that... Oh, gosh. All right, guys, let's see. Um, we'll grab another energy and... I need some draw support, so I'm actually going to grab an in here. Alright, so let's see what happens. I'm sure he's probably more than likely going to get a Typhlosion built up here. And he does. Nope, he actually just... Quilava. Okay. Quilava. Another Oricorio. He sets that down on the bench. Okay. Card energy from this Pokemon. If you discern energy from an active Pokemon, okay. Does play the Skyla there, going for the in, which is eh, kind of stinks, but um, he can't play it this turn, which is fine. Yeah. So I'm discard that energy, which is also fine with me. All right, want to get this Eevee set down. Um, we'll go ahead and attach an energy here. 
No reason to puzzle the time. Olympia, no reason to do that. Center Lady, no. We could in. He's more than likely going to end this next turn anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes. So another matchup where Enhanced Hammer is pretty much just, yeah, not worth anything. Okay, let's go ahead and attach this Assault Vest here, and we will Magical Ribbon. Um, crushing Hammer... Uh, I guess we could Parallel City him, for now at least. And we could get some draw support, that'd be nice. Let's see, what do we have in hand right now? Lysander, we do have Lima. Uh, so I'm actually going to grab a Team Rock's handiwork. Alright, so I'm assuming this one's going to become a Typhlosion. Yep, there it is. How many energies do he He's only discarded one energy so far. Alright, so this one is going <laughs> to retreat. And here we go. Massive Eruption. I would actually like to see this Typhlosion deck in uh, re at regionals or something like that. I think it'd be funny to actually see it in action, you know? 160! Oh, phew! Oh, Alright, we survived. Barely, but, but we survived. Okay, so the only bad thing here is we don't have any draw support, which sucks. Uh, we're gonna have to max potion this. Um, we could Team Rocket's Handiwork here, Team Flare Grunt, um, I guess I'll go ahead and Silent Lab for the time being, um, let's go ahead and Puzzle the Time, alright, so what do we got next up here, so we do have a Lily, I guess we'll do this, like that, okay, and then, I guess I could take a chance here, Knock the energy off. I'm sure he has another one in hand. I'm just going Team Rocket's Handiwork here. I don't hit either of those, so that really stinks, and we will pass turn. Instead. So, 200. Yeah. 240. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so there goes Sylveon. Eevee will pop up there in the active position. And we will end. Wow, that is just absolutely crazy. Which the only problem now that we have is with that silent lab out there, I've taken away my opportunity at uh, the Eevee evolution. So I've actually kind of hurt myself by doing that. I wasn't thinking ahead. Look, two Eevees are prized anyway. Wow, that's crazy. So I should just do this. And you know what? We're going to quick draw here. And we're going to fail it. So all he has to do is hit one energy here and knock out Eevee. And that's game over, which is absolutely fine with me because this Typhlosion deck is very annoying. All right, let's see if he hits any. Uh, yes, he does. 300. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Well, there we go. Defeat. All right, let's let's uh, play. Yeah, well, at least one more match up here. Um, that Typhlosion deck just ridiculous. Okay, fire. Hopefully, have a a better matchup. Even if we don't win, um, have something that's more fun. Alright, so we do win the flip. I will go first, so we can get that Eevee evolution going. Get two Eevees, but I don't get any energy, so that really stinks. So that's going to push us back a turn. Do get a Team Skullgrunt, though, in first turn, so that's going to be awesome. I'm actually really excited about that. Uh, getting rid of two energies out of your opponent's hand can be pretty clutch, especially on uh, turn one. All right. So we're just waiting now for them to get the matchup started here. All right, here we go. Cool sleeves they got rolling there. All right, guys. So no mulligans, which is surprising. So we, oh, good. We did top deck that energy. That's clutch right there. So we will go ahead and grab a Sylveon, get that set up. Let's go ahead and throw. Oh. All right, so they're just like, nah, I don't want to play against Sylveon. So was it just a straight up, yeah, it was just a straight up Volcanian deck. Uh, I did have a camera up in there too, that's cool. All right, so, wow, what a, what a exciting, 
what an exciting stream we got going here, guys. Eh, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, though. Now, I could go back and edit it, take all this out, blah, 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 blah. But eh, that's just the way the game is. All right, game three. Let's see if we can actually get a good game rolling here. That'd be awesome if we could. So he decides to go second, which is fine. We do mulligan. Let's see if we can... Okay, does this have a revive? So he's probably playing Passimian, if I was guessing. So Enhanced Hammer in this matchup is going to be clutch. Also, this Assault Vest will be clutch in this matchup as well. Yeah, we both mulligan twice. All right, Eevee, where you at? Where you at, Eevee? Nope, still nothing. I don't know why, but it seems like a lot of the hands on this PTCGO is just, just not good. <laughs> like, not good at all. <laughs> that is what it is. All right, so does finally get a Pokemon out. We still searching for an Eevee. Still no luck. Just mulligan after mulligan. Come on, Eevee, where you at? Where you at? Nope. All right, there's an Eevee. And of course, no, <laughs> no energy. So that stinks. So, like I said, I'm more, more than likely they're playing Mew Passimian, if I was guessing. can't remember how many mulligans I actually gave up there. Four or five, I think. One, two, three. Oh, maybe three. Okay. So not as many. Um, well, we really need to get this Eevee rolling, so I'm actually going to end here and get rid of those three extra cards that he just pulled as well. We do get that energy, so that's clutch. We do also get this Assault Vest, so that's nice as well. And we do get a Silent Lab. So, much better hand. Let's go ahead and grab Sylveon here. Go ahead and put the salt vest here. Let's go ahead and silent lab. And we'll pose a little time for the next turn. All right, what do we got here? Parallel City, Max Potion. I do have a Skull Grunt. Um, okay, it doesn't really matter at this point, but we're just going to throw those like that. And pass turn. All right. I know Passimia is being touted as an easy... Not an easy deck by any means, but a deck that um, is very friendly to new players. And I actually, I think it is. Um, I don't see it played a lot, but I do definitely think it's an interesting deck. Kind of like Gyarados um, with the um, binged Magikarp with the damage on it. That is such a crazy deck, but very cool at the same time. Ultra Ball here hopefully grabs a Shaman for getting that the Silent Lab is out. Nope, grabs a Passimian. Um, we'll be able to hit for some here. Oh, just have that Sycamore. So high five to him. Gets that perfect Sycamore there for seven cards. I will take 40 less damage, though, with this Assault Vest. So that's going to be nice in this matchup. Essentially taking away one of the Passimians on the bench. And Fairy Wind will, unless they put a Fairy Belt on it like, like so, um, will get a knockout as well. Or potentially a one-shot knockout, I should say. So only hitting for 40 with that Assault Vest on there. Perfectly fine with that. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of that energy. Does not. Um, Team Skull Grunt. We could Rockets Handiwork. I'm actually going to Skull Grunt here. Um, okay, so 1 DC. So that's nice to get at least rid of one of them. And we'll have to Magical Ribbon. I do need another EV. Let's go ahead and grab an Enhanced Hammer. And we need some Draw Support. So I'm going to grab a Lily. Acro bike. Still really like that card. Always had a lot of fun playing that card in my Loranis deck. Get, obviously get rid of a VS Seeker, so it makes me wonder what else he pulled there. Um, hmm. Maybe that maybe that Sycamore. 
gets rid of another VS Seeker. So now he's down two VS Seekers. Uh, does get the Sky Field. A Rangaroo Town Map. All right, let's see here. Oh, he actually has one Pacific and one Mew Prize. Wow. That could be killer in this matchup for sure. And another VS Seeker. So, uh, luck definitely on our side right now. We'll see if it continues. Shaman for five. So this next turn, we'll be able to, unless he ends, we'll be able to EV Enhance Tamer Lily. So that'll be nice. Which he can't end, I believe. Yeah, he already played Sycamore this turn. So, yeah. We're in fairly decent shape. Only hitting for 40. Wow. Definitely going to be an uphill climb for him. All right, Eevee. Oh, look, we get an energy, so that's pretty sweet. So we'll go ahead and uh, get another Sylveon set up on the bench. Always like when that happens. That uh, will enhance Tamer. That energy away, and we will Lily. So we did get the max potion. That's nice. Don't really need it right now. Let's see here. I may actually grab two puzzle of times and um, let's go ahead and grab a flare grunt here because this deck relies so heavily on those DCEs, which he already has two in the discard. Um, so that's nice. So we just have the two puzzle of times. It looks like. I would assume he's going to grab the DCEs out of here. Yeah, he does. Uh, gets them in hand. But he's hitting for such low numbers, especially with this other one prize, that it really, I mean, Sylveon's still got plenty of time here. He may want to think about bringing Mew up, but, yeah, I don't know. All right, so we'll get rid of this energy. Um... I could go ahead, let's see, what do I have in my discard? So I could go ahead and max potion Sylveon. He is going to last another turn, though, so really no necessary reason to do that. Um, let's go ahead and grab two with Puzzle of Time. Um, we will grab Team Skull Grunt and Silent Lab. All right, so Silent Lab's out. Get rid of that. His bench full. Team Skull Grunt will get rid of this energy again which will leave him without any energy here on this next turn. Uh, Magical Ribbon, definitely want to grab an energy here. Um, another Assault Vest, and Olympia. Why not? One of the funnest parts and one of the worst parts about the Sylveon deck is deciding which three cards you're going to grab. So, does he have a special... Okay, so his spe one of his special charges is prized. I'm assuming you would have more than one in this deck, especially since... That's the only energy he's running. Okay, gets a sky field out. Really not going to help him here, with, especially with this other Pisimian prize. I'm guessing he doesn't... Oh, he could have double puzzle here again. To grab the two uh, DCEs. Okay, so no, he only has the one. Uh, I'm guessing this Pissimian is going to go... Well, I could go down this turn unless I just decide not to attack, uh, which is a very big possibility. So he he does the... Yeah, he should have done the Nest Ball first there, and then the puzzle... <clears throat> excuse me. Because now, basically, he just wasted that puzzle of time. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he decides to do here, especially without those energies. Sycamore. Okay, so I think we pretty handily have this have this game. Um, of course, I will say that, and then something will go massively wrong. So he's got two DCEs in the discard. 
Um, and okay, so he just had two DCs, DCEs available to him somewhere there. Um, but again, he's just not hitting enough here. I'm, I'm, I'm sure this next turn when I max potion the Sylveon, he may concede just because he can't get enough damage output with this Passimian. Acrobikes. Now he's only down to five cards in deck. Yeah, there's the DCE again. Yeah, he's just not getting enough damage output on this Sylveon because of this Assault Vest. Um, there's that. Max Potion. He may just concede here. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, that and a Magical Ribbon again, but... I think that could be it. I don't really need to do that. Uh, let's grab a Lysander for the fun of it, and we'll grab a DCE for now. Now, again, with that attack, you do have to take at least one card, but you don't have to take all three. So, he did have a second special charge. At this point, though, just an uphill climb for sure. So many options. And let's see. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, 440. So that's something else about this deck that's interesting. Even if you play Garboder, uh, the new one the, the, with uh, Trash Avalanche, it'd only be hidden for 140 right now. Uh, we don't, I mean, we do play a lot of item cards, but we don't play a lot of item cards. It's an interesting, yeah, it's an interesting thing. Okay, so. He, what he's assuming here is that he's going to have to attack with a Rangaroo because there's really not much else he can do, um, which I would totally agree with. Um, so we're actually going to set this down. We're going to handiwork. He's only got four cards left in deck. There's one. There's two. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Yep, so he's going to deck out here before he can do much else. Yeah, but Simeon, it's not a good matchup for Sylveon, because Sylveon's just doing all, getting rid of all that energy, especially the DCEs. Um, but props to this guy for continuing to play. If it was me, I probably just would have conceded and said, you know what? Forget it. All right, so he does have another DCE available to him. I just don't think there's... I mean, obviously nothing he can do here. He may, may have... Want, should have brought this Mew up earlier, um, and then he had been hitting for more, right? Bench with Sibia, 30, 60, 90, so I mean, he would have been hitting for more uh, in general. That may have been the play uh, much earlier in the game. He's going to instruct for nothing. Hits for 40. I, you know what? Props to him for continuing continuing to go with this match because I probably would just give up. And... Oh, I didn't mean to plea. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's right. And he's just going to deck out. Oh. All right, guys. Well, there you, there you have it. A very interesting matchup nonetheless. Um, let's just see if this is a straight-up Assimian. Yeah, nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. Again, this deck is very... Very good for new players, for sure. Um, an easy deck to play. Fun deck to play, for sure. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching the Sylveon GX video. And I hope you enjoyed it. My builds, at least, continuing to work on it. Ever evolving, uh, no pun intended, the deck. And uh, hoping to uh, continue to play it and do something more with it as we move forward into regionals and internationals. Guys, have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on all of our videos. Let us know if you like the content, and join us for a live stream sometime. Until then, have a great day.